What's up guys, it's your girl Shanice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. You already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today I want to show you guys a week in my hair, like my hair routine for the week. I get a lot of questions about how do I hydrate, how do I maintain, how do I just keep up with my hair throughout the week to prevent breakage. So I'm going to share all my tips with you in this video. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So yeah, if you guys do like these videos, definitely give me a big thumbs up and I will see you guys all in the next video. Okay guys, so this is day one Monday night. I just washed my hair, I let it air dry in two braids, so it's looking real big and puffy. Didn't have no product in there, so I'm just parting my hair down the middle. And in the back, it doesn't have to be neat or anything. I decided today, or this week, I'm gonna do braids, so I'm gonna be using Suave Professional Nourish and Strengthen Leave-In Conditioner, and also I'm gonna be using their curl defining cream to create this braid out also i want to say a huge thank you to suave for sponsoring this video so i'm starting off with this side right here and then i'm going to break it down into medium sized sections as you can see here and i'm going to be cornrowing this so the first product i'm going to jump into is the suave nourish and strengthen leave-in conditioner this is definitely one of my favorite products in the line it's super lightweight but it's also moisturizing and it has a very watery kind of water-based consistency so you don't need to spray your hair down with water or anything it gives you just enough slip and then i'm going to go in with the curl defining cream for added extra moisture and some shine and softness and then i'm going to make sure that my hair is nice and detangled and then i'm just going to cornrow braid this section and i decided to do cornrow braids just so i can have some texture at the top of my head and it's going to make this style last a longer time um, throughout the week And then when I get to the ends, I do like to add a little bit more product and I don't braid it all the way down. And then I like to use some perm rods to just roll it up. And this is gonna make sure that I have like a spiral look at the bottom of my braid. So I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing to each braid. I'm gonna add a little bit of the leave-in conditioner and then go in with the curl defining cream and work that through, detangle, and then cornrow braid all the way down. And you can kind of see that when I got to the middle of the braid, it kind of got a little dry. So I'm just adding more um, to my hair and then continuing the braid. So it really depends on your hair, how much product you need and all of that good stuff. So yeah, this is my hair once complete. I just had four braids on each side and we are ready to tie my hair down and go to bed. As you can see, it's not that neat, but it's all good. Okay guys, so this is day two, Tuesday morning. I woke up and I took down my head tie and I noticed that my braids were still a little bit damp and you guys know that if your braids are damp, you do not take it down or it's gonna be super frizzy. So I opted to keep them in and I just decided to unravel the perm rods just so I can actually wear my hair outside without looking crazy. And then I decided to go in with the Suave Professionals Define and Shine Serum Gel. I just added a few pumps to my hands and applied that throughout my hair just to give me some shine. And then I used a satin scrunchie and put my hair into a low bun. And you can definitely wear your hair like this outside if you want to, but I would change the hairband. Um, but I decided to wear my satin lined scarf and just put a hat over it so it can still be protected at the same time while running some errands and whatnot. And it's not the most fashionable look, but throw some earrings on and you're good to go. So this is day three, Wednesday morning, and I woke up to my braids finally being dry. I don't know what it is, but my hair takes kind of long to dry when there's product in it. But yeah, I just felt my braids and they felt really, really good and they looked really good. So just giving you guys a 360. 
and then I just decide to unravel my braids today and because I did this on kind of like dry hair um, I knew I was gonna have a fluffy braid out which is the kind of braid out that I like so I can get volume on the first day so yeah this is just me unraveling my braids and then I'm just fluffing out the roots and kind of separating the parts and everything to my desired look and this is what I was left with. My hair was super, super fluffy and defined. It has a little bit of frizz, but I don't mind that. Um, I actually like day two hair um, braid outs better, but you guys will see that coming up. Okay guys, so it is day three, Wednesday night, and this night I was so freaking tired. Luckily, when I refresh my braid outs, I usually only do two to four braids so I decided to do two braids because I just wasn't having it so I'm mixing both of the leave-in and the curl defining cream together as you can see I'm using a generous amount for each section and then just applying that through my hair and as you can see I'm not finger detangling I'm not combing or anything like that because I want to just keep the same curl pattern just add a little bit more texture to it so I'm just gonna apply the product throughout my hair so I can get some moisture going in. As you can see, hair's looking popping. And then I'm going to create a big chunky braid. So the key to this is that every time you braid, you kind of want to pull on it and tug on it and that's gonna make it tighter. And that's where you're gonna get those real defined curls. So just make sure that every time you're braiding, you're kind of pulling it and making it as tight as possible. And of course, when I was getting lower to the end of the braid, I decided to add more product just because it was drying up a little bit and moisture is key. And then finally, when I got to the end of the braid, I added a little bit more product and used a perm rod to just keep everything in place. So yeah, I did the same thing to the next side, literally took about five minutes if I wasn't recording and I'm ready to go to bed. All right, y'all, so this is day four, Thursday morning, another no makeup day. I love no makeup days, but yeah, I'm just taking off my headscarf and this is how my two braids are looking. They actually look pretty juicy in these braids, but yeah, I'm just unraveling my perm rock and this was a super easy takedown. Two braids literally took two minutes and um, my hair was very, very shiny and soft and moisturized. I was like, hell yes, this is what I'm talking about. But yeah, like I said, second day hair is definitely my favorite. So I'm just going to fluff it out a little bit with my fingers and separate. And I am left with really defined curls. And I just love how like soft and luscious it looks. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to do to my hair during the day. Okay guys, so this is later that night, day four, Thursday night. And by this time, I'm actually over my hair. I don't wanna put braids in it or anything. As you can see, it still looks pretty, pretty good for it lasting throughout the day, but I'm just like, nope. So I decided to use my satin scrunchie and put my hair into a very loose bun. Doesn't matter how crazy it's looking because it's gonna be fine in the morning. So just put my hair into a bun and then tied it down with my satin scarf. And then I just went to bed. Make sure that whenever you're falling asleep, you're either using a satin scarf or you're sleeping on a satin pillowcase. That will help the longevity of your style that you're, you know, doing. Okay guys, so this is day five, Friday morning. This is when my style is coming to an end. Pretty much over it, my hair kinda needs to wash, but I don't really wanna wash it. I just have my head scarf on, of course, and um, as you can see, my bun is definitely smushed and crushed, but that's okay. At least my hair retained all the moisture I put into it throughout the week. So I'm just going to take down my bun. I can definitely wear my hair out still, but I personally just wanted it out of my face. So I'm using my satin scarf to do my pineapple style. I'm just putting it behind my head and then tying it and then pulling it and then it's gonna create a kind of like a huge scrunchy type of thing. 
and then once I pull it I keep wrapping the scarf around itself and the tighter you do it the higher your pineapple will come out so I'm just doing it pretty tight because I want it at the very top of my head so yeah just wrapping it around until there's no more fabric and then I'm applying Suave's Define and Shine Serum Gel for moisture and just to keep my hair soft and I'm also getting the back portion as well just kind of slicking it up with the gel as well and then just playing around with my curls until I like how it looks and that is pretty much how I will rock it for the rest of the week Friday Saturday Sunday unless I decide to wash it if I'm going anywhere special you know so yeah that is pretty much what I do to my hair throughout the week this is how I retain length this is how I prevent breakage and this is how I keep my hair moisturized and hold the longevity of my style so if you guys are interested in seeing how I maintain my washing goals definitely give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one I love you guys